Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you another uh, duplication glitch today. It is um, the workaround to the old facility glitch, which some of you might know, that's still on my channel. And uh, before we actually get into the video, I'd just like to say, everyone who is messaging me on Xbox right now, I cannot currently answer, because I have actually been banned till tomorrow around half five-ish. So tomorrow I'll actually be able to reply to all of, to all of you, but... At the moment, I obviously can't reply. If you do want to get in contact, either join the Discord server or message me on Instagram, because I can still reply on them too, but I just can't reply on Xbox. Now, for this glitch, what you're actually going to want is um, the bunker, the facility, the mobile operation centre, which is the big lorry. You're also going to want the personal storage inside the back of the um, MOC, mobile operation centre, and you're also going to want the car to duplicate this method actually, um, you can dupe any car, so this is like better than the other one what's out now because the other one you can only dupe like arena cars and stuff like that. But this glitch, it doesn't create dirty dupes either, so you can, uh, it creates clean ones, so you don't need custom plates. And it actually, like I say, you can dupe any car. But once you've got that all set up, um, it is kind of solo, like the whole glitch is solo apart from actually the. Um, like the method bit because that bit you have to actually join someone but back out the alert so you could just join off a randomer so i would class it as solo or something like that semi solo i'd say that but anyway enough of that. let's get straight into the video and i hope you guys enjoy i will just be going through all the stuff what you do need again just to show you so as you can see here you do need the big lorry as you can see in the background which is in the bunker also the facility is also on half price as well so if you haven't got one of them i would recommend buying that while it's in half price also, you want to go to Benny's or any other uh, like legendary motorsport stuff like that, and fill the facility up with um, free cars. I'm personally I'm using Elegies. It can be any other free car. It could be street cars. It's up to you. But um, I'm just using Elegies, as you can see here. My facility is already full. So then, once you've got that, what you want to do is actually, uh, if you've not got the car you want to duplicate, you want to drive that into the back of the MOC. Also, you want to pull the interaction menu up as well and go to hide options this is just to make sure that you do get the blue markers on the map so the blue jobs and then go to jobs make sure all jobs are set to custom if it wasn't on custom you've just set it to custom just choose the easy way out and when you respawn all the blue markers and icons will actually appear on the map as you can see here and once you've got that set up just go to the back of your uh, MOC and either put the car in there if it's not already on there but if it is just go into the back and drive it out just give it a couple of seconds for it to load. So like I say, once you're actually inside the back, just get into it and hold RT and uh, just drive out of the back of the MOC. And what will happen is you'll actually spawn inside of the bunker, not outside, just spawn like inside the bunker. As you can see here, then what you want to do is just drive the car and actually park it next to this yellow line. It can be anywhere around here, just personally I like doing it there because it's just easier to access. Now what you want to do after you've got your car there is actually just run outside of the bunker. Wait for it to load. Now this part, you can't actually use um, personal vehicles or anything like that to get to your facility. So I would recommend using the buzzard from the CEO. You can do the, tele uh, the teleport job glitch method. But that way, it sometimes does mess the uh, actual glitch up. Sometimes the car just disappears, stuff like that. So personally, I'd just recommend using the buzzard from the CEO. Or you can just use a street car, anything like that to actually get to your facility. Just make sure you don't call a personal vehicle because it will mess the whole glitch up. Now, once you're in the buzzard, like I say, just make your way over to the facility. As you can see, my bunker and my facility is quite close. So it won't take me that long. It'll take me about 30 seconds. So all you want to do... Just fly over there, drive over there, whichever way you're doing it. So now, as you can see, I'm nearly here. What I want to do is just land the buzzard here. Make sure you don't die either, because that can sometimes mess the glitch up. So if you are flying, just make sure you don't crush the helicopter and just make sure you land it carefully. Then what you want to do is just run inside the, fa the facility. Wait for it to load, as you can see here. And I would say this method is quite easy. It's probably easier than the um, Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack method. But it has got a little bit more steps to it. But yeah, that's it really. And then once you've loaded in, what you actually want to do is make your way over to the um, reception desk, as you'll see in the gameplay in a minute. 
So then when you actually enter the facility, what you want to do is just follow the way I go and just run through the doors here. And you'll see that the reception desk is actually on the right in a minute. Let's walk through here and you'll see that the reception desk is here, like you say. Now what you want to do is just walk up to the uh, assistant person here and wait for it to say press right on the D-pad to access the reception services. Once that pops up, uh, you know you've done it right. Then what you want to do is you just want to join someone in a different um, targeting mode. But what you want to do is accept the first alert and um, cancel the second alert. As you can see here, accept the first alert and cancel the second alert. Then once you've done that, um, it'll take you back to this screen. Then you want to press pause and then actually go over to the map. Press A on the map so it goes full and hover over a job. And you want to press X to start the job and confirm it. And you'll get an alert screen that says this job is no longer available. Once this pops up, just press right on the D-pad and you should hear the, your assistant talking about ground. When that happens, you know you've done it right and just press A to accept the alert. And then you'll come back and you'll have this menu on the um, left side of your screen where it says the Pegasus uh, like vehicles and stuff like that. Then once you're on the this uh, menu, you know, like I say, you've done it right. Then what you want to do is just press pause, go over to online, go down to purchase short cards. And then what you want to do is just press A on that for it to load. Wait for the first short card to pop up the red one. As you can see here, it pops up. Just press B and press B again to exit, exit out of that. Then go over to the map and you want to uh, press A again to fill the, fill the map and then actually hover over another job. Now you actually want to uh, press start job again here. But this time, once you confirm it, you just want to spam B like you would last time. So as you can see, when it comes with this message, press A. As soon as you press A, just spam B as quick as you can. And it'll back off the alert message, you know, back back off the uh, reception and everything. Then once you've done that, if you've hit it right, you should see that it says loading in the bottom right corner. Now, if you've uh, if it says that, then obviously you've hit it right. Then what you want to do is just um, run over into the free allergy. Then you actually just want to get into the free allergy uh, which this car is actually going to be replaced by the duplicate duplicated car. So, as you can see, just get into any free car, and uh, once you're actually sat in here, wait for the engine to start up. Then what you want to do is just join someone in a different targeting mode again, so the same person or it can be a different person, it doesn't matter. Just make sure they're in a different targeting mode, and wait for the alert message to pop up. When this alert message pops up, hold RT, accept the first alert. Then you want to uh, back out of the second alert. So hold on, hold RT now as you can see. Then what you want to do is just accept this alert. Then uh, it'll go into another screen in a minute. And then once you've accepted this, press B on the second one as you can see, and then press A again. So A, B, A, then let go of RT, and you should stand up outside the car. Once that happens, you're going to a black screen and it should load you outside of, uh, outside of the facility. And um, it'll spawn you in a random location. So like I say, when you do spawn outside, you'll realise that you aren't actually outside of your facility. You'll be spawned at a random facility. Uh, this is just all part of the glitch. It doesn't mean you've done it wrong. It means you've done it right. If you do spawn outside your own facility, that's okay. Just make sure you don't come out in the car. If you come out in the car, that means you've messed the whole glitch up and have to retry it again. But once you've spawned outside of the, uh, uh, the random place or anywhere you spawned, what you want to do is just call the uh, buzzard back or get a street car. Just make sure you do not call a personal vehicle. Then once you've done that, what you want to do is just head back over to the bunker and then you'll see that your car is still there. If your car is no longer where you left it, uh, obviously means you've done the glitch wrong and you'll have to retry it again. Um, and that's it really, but it's qu quite a simple glitch. It's not really got any timing apart from the B part. That's it really, so it's quite simple. It's not really hard. And like I say, it's like solo, kind of solo, semi-solo, whatever one you class it as. Uh, it's up to you what you, what you call it. But uh, once you're at your bunker, what you're going to do is just enter your bunker, like I say. And just make sure you do not die throughout the whole steps of doing this glitch. Otherwise, you've got a chance of messing it up. Sometimes it will be perfectly fine, but then others it will mess up. Because that's what's happened to me. But um, what you're going to do, like I say, is just land the buzzard or get out of the car, whatever you're doing. And then you want to just walk in to the uh, bunker. If you're coming in a streetcar, just make sure you don't go near the yellow circle in the car. Because you might accidentally take the car in. And it'll just mess the whole glitch up right at the end and you don't want that because it's just a waste of time really. But then once you've walked in, you'll be put onto a black screen for roughly 5 to 10 seconds. And then once you've loaded, you'll then see that the car is in the same place as you left it. As you can see in the gameplay now, mine's where I left it. Then what you want to do is just get inside of the car. Once you're inside of the car, what you want to do is just then drive to the back of the MOC. 
wait roughly three seconds. This is you can do it straight away, but I personally like waiting three seconds. Then press right on the D-pad and you should be hit with this alert message saying personal vehicle storage full. Just press A and this just means you've duped the car and the car's actually duped and it's worked. The original version of the car will actually be put into the facility now and this car, what's actually in the MOC, will now be the dupe. If that's uh, if you want to know that. But thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are struggling with this and need any help, just drop a comment down below or join my Discord or... Um, message me on instagram but thank you for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed